Hi there! Today I got a new toy. Um, I just got this delivered by UPS and I've been waiting quite a few days. Um, it's heavy snowfall here and for some reason uh, they cannot deliver. But now I got it. It's a brand new Solar 1.6 TBS, I think. So, uh, I have played Jacksons, Gibsons, Fenders for many many years and this spring I was recording a lot of new songs and I used Les Paul like this. Problem is, although these are beautiful, great great guitars, they don't stay in tune like you want during recording. I have to constantly quit riffing and tune it and I get out of the groove and the mood. Um, so that became a problem and then I spoke to Johan, my bandmate, who has been playing solar for so many years now and uh, I talked a bit to him about this problem and he said you should try solar. And um, so I thought I will uh, treat myself with a solar guitar and see what it can do for me. Um, so I got this. Let's open it up and see what's inside. It's a box. Guitars rarely comes with cases nowadays uh, if you're not ordering the like, top of the line guitars. Um, this is what I got. So it's actually a bolt-on model. Uh, it's got a maple neck and uh, one humbucker and two single coils and of course the Evertune bridge which means when you set this up right you don't have to tune the guitar anymore it will stay in tune like magic um, the reason I chose this model um, I mean I love these I love um, uh, like star-shaped guitars, uh, Solar has a new run of star-shaped guitars that are just great. But I need this for recording and what I really need is a versatile guitar that uh, of course has a humbucker but I need these two single coils for the cleans because when recording, uh, even if I record uh, heavy riffing I use a lot of clean guitars actually behind the riffs I like to create ambience some bands would use uh, synthesizers or keyboards and stuff like that but I quite often put a couple of clean chords behind the riffs and it makes um, the dynamics uh, bigger and greater and, and so I need this and I need to have uh, different options with the clean sounds so two single coils and a humbucker is uh, uh, the best for me actually and then I really like maple necks I don't know why um, I like maple necks and I like rosewood necks I'm not that keen on uh, every mix. It's a sound thing with a friction when bending notes. Um, also, I like when they're like this is roasted maple, so it's a bit dark. Uh, like I said, it's a bolt-on guitar, and these are often misunderstood as uh, people say they have less sustain. I say that is false. I say that is absolutely false. Uh, a guitar with the neck screwed 
tight into the wood has the same or even more sustain. Um, I think it's uh, uh, something that we just take for granted that it should have more. Uh, it's like Fender Stratocasters, they, they have fantastic sustain and they are all uh, bolt points. So that's not a problem. At first glance, uh, I think uh, the action might look a bit high, but on the same time it's uh, not set up yet by me. And the frets are really tall, it's jumbo frets. And on my other guitars uh, behind me, the Gibsons, I have lower frets and then the action looks lower, but maybe this is just right. So, I will make a setup and then I uh, will record something really quick to see how this sounds. All right. So, now I have um, set this uh, bridge up the way I want it. There's a lot of videos on YouTube if you want to know how to do it. Mm -hmm. And let's go through the sounds. Um, let's start with uh, the clean sounds because that was why I needed this one. So this is the neck pickup. between then we have uh, the middle pickup bridge and the middle one. Then we have the bridge. Then we have this push push pull function, which I don't know what it does, but I guess it splits the the bridge pickup. Yeah, this sounds like a humbucker, and then it's probably just one of the coils. Quite snappy sounding. It's not as bell sounding as a strat, but it's close enough and it will um, I will be able to record uh, the way I want with this one. Uh, I'm uh, sitting in my kitchen and the earth uh, and the pedal board aren't just right. It's humming a bit. But now this is just into my JCM 800 and it's only overdriven by a boss uh, SD1 um, over there. This is the bridge pickup. And I, this is the thing, I got the question, um, can you bend the, the notes? Because this Evertone tune bridge compensates for the string uh, when it gets tension, so it corrects um, the tuning, but you set it just right so that when you start to bend, you drag the bridge out of the safe zone, so to speak. There's three zones really. When, when you're in zone two, um, the guitar will not go out of tune. When you're in zone three, it works just like a normal guitar. So you set it just in between and you then... And it 
works perfectly. And here, you see, I put a different kind of um, threshold on the upper three strings. You see, I bend this, nothing happens, but you see, there it bites. Because I want the chords perfect at any time. And it's more... More important for me to have um, uh, less um, threshold, or, or what do you say, the lower strings. Another thing, I find it... It's a bit trickier to get the uh, pinch harmonics. Gotta be a little harder, a little more exact. Nice pickup section. So far, it's my first impressions are. It, this is a really good guitar. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, the access to the upper frets. I mean, there's absolutely nothing um, there in the way. Uh, when you play flying V's, there's also nothing there. But when I uh, switch to a Strat or a Les Paul or something, it, it's harder to get up. This works really fine. I really like the neck. It's not as thin as an Ibanez. Um, it's more Jackson-like. Um, I know Johan, he plays some of the Vs from Solar and I think they have a fatter neck. So this bolt-on is probably a bit thinner. It reminds me a lot uh, of uh, um, an American standard Stratocaster, which I think is one of the best guitars in the world, so that makes me really happy. This, I can switch between this and my Strat without uh, adapting anything, actually. Another thing I was worried about, there are no fret markers here. And I thought that I played by these markers, but apparently I don't. Um, because I didn't think about this for the first um, couple of chords and uh, minutes of playing. You have markers up here, and that is just enough for me, actually. I don't need more. So I think um, I will have to record with this, but I think I will enjoy this guitar a lot. Uh, so I thank both uh, Johan and the Solar and, and everyone for uh, getting me this guitar and, and so I can try it out. Sure, a great thing. Bye. Bye.